Hey, uh, Alan here from Hackspot.com. I just wanted to show you my brand new Mosaic M2 from MakerGear.com. Uh, I just received the kit on Thursday. I spent Friday evening and uh, yesterday uh, putting it together, and uh, it's now more or less put together and printing. This is my uh, my second print. Let's take a look at the print quality here. You can see the the layers on this guy are amazing. They line up almost perfectly. Um, I've seen output of a $30,000 Shapeways 3D printer and I would say this looks as good or better. This is my second print with the machine. The reason why I got this printer, I have a RepRap that I built about a year ago it's a great printer and I've printed a lot of objects with it for friends and family and it's uh, amazing to me that it exists you know an open source 3D printer that you can build that partially self replicates that's uh, made from essentially hardware store parts and the fact that that even exists is amazing to me and the fact that it works as well as it does is even more amazing but this printer what this represents is a kind of a different design goal uh, this is not self-replicating and it's not made from easily available hardware store parts. This printer represents, you know, a high quality uh, accuracy and repeatability design goal. So you can see the main uh, assembly here is a, starts off as a single piece of uh, stainless steel that's laser cut and then folded and welded together. So that represents a lot of rigidity. For the main uh, assembly. Many of the parts are uh, water jet cut, such as this top plate, which is anodized blue here. It's uh, some sort of aluminum, probably 6061 T6. We've got uh, linear rail for the X axis. We've also got uh, linear rail for the Y axis as well. So you can see that there. Uh, we've got, for the Z-axis, we've got an actual Acme lead screw, which is a commercial lead screw that you'd typically find on, uh, used in linear motion for, you know, machine tools and such, as opposed to threaded rod, which is what the uh, RepRap uses. We've got linear bearings as well on precision ground uh, rod there to guide the Z-axis up and down. In this case, the... Um, the Z moves up up and down as opposed to the x-axis so the x-axis is stationary and the z-axis uh, moves up and down which you know most of your acceleration is actually taking place up there in the in the x-axis so the fact that that's stationary adds some additional rigidity so what, what, what this all amounts to, you know, these linear rails or high precision, high precision repeatability and accuracy. Um, the design is designed to be rigid. Again, precision, uh, repeatability and accuracy. And then the same thing for, you know, the rest of the components. What results in basically excellent print quality. So this is my second print on the machine. Now I've seen this type of print quality come out of other you know, 3D printers, I've seen the Ultimaker, is, it does quite well. And also, um, you know, the, the RepRap can do this well with a few upgrades. Um, but um, this is my second print with this printer. <laughs> I just think that's amazing. Um, you should have seen my second print for the RepRap. It was not, not nearly as good. Now, granted, I've learned a lot between now and then, but I think, uh, I think it pretty much speaks for itself in terms of the quality. So, um, what else we got here? We've got the extruder, got a couple fans on it. Uh, we've got one fan to cool the transition zone and another fan to cool the print layers as they come out of the nozzle. It's got a 0.35 millimeter nozzle. It's got um, 1.75 millimeter um, plastic, in this case, uh, PLA. Uh, comes with this uh, spool holder and the spool of filament uh, in the filament guide. Um, Basically came complete with everything you need, even some tools to put it together, uh, some tweezers, which I thought was a nice touch because you do use tweezers a lot in 3D printing. And of course, I already had some, but uh, 
It's nice that it came with a little set of tweezers. And of course, Maker Gear always put some uh, Ghirardelli chocolate in the package as well, which I find to be a nice touch. Um, this is the electronics here. Sorry, this flashlight's a bit overpowering. But uh, this is the electronics enclosure here, and it's a single board electronic solution that's Arduino compatible. It's Arduino Mega compatible. Uh, they call it Rambo, which stands for Rep Wrap Arduino Mega Compatible something something. I forget what it stands for, but anyways. Uh, it's a single board electronics. It comes in an enclosure. There's actually a top that belongs on this enclosure I haven't installed yet. Uh, it's got an SD card as well. Uh, you can print straight off the SD card. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I plan to use this actually. I've still got my rep wrap over here. I set it aside for now just to give me room to build the new printer. Uh, this is my rep wrap and these are some of the objects that I've printed. Um, and I've printed a number of things uh, on it over time. And you can see the print quality is not, not bad. Um, the layers don't quite line up perfectly. That's an issue I've always had. And a lot of that's just based on the, again, the components that make up this particular 3D printer. Now, for example, it's got PLA printed bushings. And that's not even state of the art for the rep wrap. Um, linear bearings are more commonly used now. I built this about a year ago, and that was uh, the way to go. But now LMUU8 linear bearings are available, and um, I'll probably be swapping out to those. Um, but you know, you've got hardware store grade threaded rod for the Z axis here, and uh, I think that's probably a lot of what I'm fighting uh, with this printer. But the plan is to use my M2 to actually print out, uh, hopefully, a near perfect set of new plastic parts. Uh, with a number of upgrades. I'll do the linear bearings. Um, I'll upgrade this hinged extruder to a uh, lever, lever-based hinged extruder so that you can just open and close it with a lever. Um, I'll also add a, an adjustment screw for the z-axis to be able to set the bed height or the z-axis height uh, with the screw, which that'll be nice. Right now I kinda have to move the uh, end stop up and down on the on the ground rod. Uh, so there's a number of uh, upgrades I plan to print out, and I'm hoping I can print them out on the M2 and make them look really good, uh, and then, you know, kind of redo the rep wrap and hopefully improve its print quality to a large degree as well. And then I'll have two 3D printers, which I can then uh, print side by side and print things twice as fast, hopefully. So that's kind of the plan for that. Um, but yeah, so far, new 3D printer working amazingly well um, really happy with it if you're in the market for a 3d printer highly recommend you take a look at the uh, maker gear mosaic m2 um, i think it's a really interesting to choice in terms of high quality accuracy and repeatability also worth mentioning is the uh, the glass bed here it uses uh, borosilicate glass which is uh, i think um, very uh, that's basically the brand name is Pyrex. So it uses Pyrex type glass, um, which is great because the PLA sticks right to the glass. You don't have to um, put down any blue painter's tape uh, for PLA, which that's what I'm currently printing with is PLA. It's also got a, a heated build platform. You can see it's a piece of uh, anodized aluminum. That's the heat element, that or contains the heat element. And that's um, black anodized, and it's got uh, the Maker Gear logo on it that's been laser engraved into it, which is pretty cool. So everything about the, um, the printer kit was, you know, top-notch. Um, wasn't very difficult to put together. It does take some time. I probably have, I don't know, at least 12 hours or more, probably more, probably more like 20 hours. No, I don't know. That's maybe, let's say, 16 hours or so into the build um, and I'm not totally done I still have some things I need to button up as far as the enclosure down there but um, but yeah for the second print um, really really happy with the print quality so just thought I'd share that with uh, all the people that watch my channel and like these 3d printer videos and uh, thanks for watching